Hey guys, it's Carissa and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Inky Fairy Designs and the 12 Days of Creative Christmas. This is day 11 and I've been so excited to share with you guys how to color on these wood chip ornaments. Now you can get these uh, wood slices pretty much anywhere. These larger ones that I did last year, this is where I was kind of getting the idea. I had gotten the large Prismacolored pencil set for Christmas and I did these last year in between the baby napping and stuff. So I wanted to share with you how I did them, but these I picked up at like Hobby Lobby or something like that. They have these large oval wood slices. And then um, for this video, I'm using wood slices that are quite a bit smaller uh, from uh, Amazon. You can get um, like any size on Amazon pretty much. So the one that I'm going to show you is the smallest one. I do stamp on this one and I'm showing you that I primed that one and this one with a watercolor primer uh, by Daniel Smith and it's a clear primer. I really don't notice a difference using the primer on the wood slices versus uh, not using them. So I did both and I really don't see a difference. Um, the two stamps that I'll show you, or the two stamps that I use um, in this video, are the Greeting Farm, and it's called Holiday Anya 6, and then this one from Mama Elephant, and it's called Yappy, or wait, <laughs> Yappy Woofmas. Um, yes, and that is the one that I'm going to color all the way through for you in this video. And I'm just showing you that any kind of stamp is going to work for this. I like to use clear stamps because I can see exactly where they're going to fit. The stamp or the ink that I'm using today is from Ink on 3. It's their blackout detail ink. And it worked really well for this. Um, I think last year I used the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. This ink was just sitting out on my desk. I had it on hand and that's why I used it. Uh, this is the Prismacolor Premiere set that I got last year for Christmas. Uh, it's 150, um, it's the full set and they're great for this technique for coloring on wood. Um, I see, um, I don't do a whole lot of coloring pencils coloring, but they seem to blend really well. So I stamped off my stamps and I am figuring out finally which stamp I want to use for this smaller uh, stamp set. This is actually going to be a Christmas gift for my mama. <laughs> so she'll probably watch this video and see that, um, but probably not until after Christmas. Anyway, I was trying to figure out if I could fit two of the doggies on there or just one. Um, she has a little chihuahua and there was only one doggy in this set that had the ears that were sticking up. And so that's why I chose that particular stamp for this one. And it fit really well. This was a smaller slice um, wood that I got from Amazon, like I mentioned earlier. They were a lot smaller than I anticipated. Um, really take a look at the size and dimensions when you're ordering these on Amazon. They are very clear, but if you don't really know what size you're looking for, um, you might order something like I did and it was a lot smaller so I couldn't use like my larger stamps on these, but they worked well for these little smaller stamps. And like I said, this is the unprimed wood slice that I'm actually going to be coloring on for you. I did a portion of coloring on the primed uh, stamp that I did with the Holiday Anya, but my camera died, so I didn't even include that footage in this video. I just wanted to get it up for you guys today, and I figured I got much of the technique on here using the little doggy one and it goes by quite quickly. So I'm just stamping the dog and the little hollies. I wanted to kind of fill in that area on the top. So I did stamp those hollies twice. There was actually a little doggy bone wrapped with a ribbon that I'm looking at right here. And I thought that would have been cute. If I would have thought of it ahead of time, I could have masked that off and then put the hollies around it, but I didn't. So I do have all of the colors here for you. Uh, for the dog, I used beige, sienna, beige, seashell pink, and cream. Uh, 
and I'll have all of those listed below along with the full set of Prismacolor pencils, a link to the Amazon um, site where I purchase them if you guys want to go ahead and pick these up. Um, they generally do have them on really good sales right around now, especially we're coming up to probably the after Christmas sales. You might find some this set if you got some Amazon gift cards for Christmas. This would be a great set to pick up. I think they're fantastic. Um, so I am just coloring them in. I do color light to dark. I do that with my Copics. I do that here with my pencils. I am still kind of learning what I like best with the color pencils, but they seem to blend really well. And um, if you see me wiping off, I'm wiping off a lot of the waxy residue that comes off with the pencils when you're coloring. Uh, I don't know if it's more so with the wood because there's a lot of texture there that I'm trying to fill in as I color. But I just have actually a makeup brush that I got at Michael's and it's like looks like a mermaid tail and I think it's super cute it's just a fan brush it's a makeup brush and I use it just for this just for colored pencils to wipe off that residue and so I did speed up this video obviously um, color pencil coloring does take a lot longer even though this is a smaller sized image it does take a lot longer for me plus I am not familiar with them as much as I am with my Copic markers so I am referencing um, a hex chart a hex chart that I filled in um, you can find that at sandyalnack.com and it's awesome to have uh, for any of your mediums, your coloring mediums that you have. I like the way she has the colors laid out. It makes it very, um, you can see how different ones would work well together and it helps me pick out the different colors that I want to blend. So love that. I will also put a link to her site as well in the description box if you guys are interested in that color chart. I don't show it in the video, but I am referencing it. If you see a pause and I'm looking for a color, <laughs> that's what I'm doing. So I stuck with very traditional colors other than um, the dog. I wanted the dog to look like my mom's dog. So he is or she is very light colored. So I kept her coloring very light. And then as far as the Santa hat, of course that had to be red. And for the little Christmas card, my mom's favorite color is green. And that just went well. So that's, you know, traditional Christmas colors. Um, so I am coloring the dog inside the Christmas card. Pretty much the same colors as the dog, but very few colors in there. There's not a lot. I was going to color that one black because my mom's other chihuahua is black, but it was such a small area. I thought it would just look like a blob and I didn't want that to happen. As you can see, uh, I am filling in or outlining actually the stamp back because when I use the color pencils, it tends, the wax tends to go over those dark, you know, the stamp lines and it lightened them up, kind of faded them away. And so I just go over that with the black uh, Prisma color pencil and I sharpen it real good. And then I just trace those lines back because I am not doing no line coloring. I want those lines to show up. And so I do that often when I get done with an area. So I think he's look or she, it's a girl dog, okay? <laughs> I think she's looking pretty cute. I added a little bit of a tiny bit of a drop shadow with the black. That was just what was in my hand. I didn't even realize it. So I'm coming in with the cream and kind of just uh, lightening that up, spreading that out. And then all I'm going to do is add some blue around the dog just to kind of give it a halo um, you know I'm not really going for a sky look or anything like that but I do want to um, what I like with the blue uh, whether I'm doing it with um, color pencils or Copic markers a lot because I don't do a whole lot of scene building or scene coloring it just adds a little halo it pops out that image more when you add just something around it so I added a really light blue, actually. 
Um, it is called Cloud Blue and then True Blue. And I just blended those together. And I totally forgot to tell you what colors I was using for the greens and the reds. But I have them all written down. And I'm going to put them in the description box below for you. So I thought he was looking, she, I thought she was looking super cute. Um, but she needed to have some blush because I just love adding blush to any character that I am coloring. So here I am just finishing up a little bit of the details with the black. I kind of kept this part in real time so you can see how slowly I go. And um, adding a little bit more white. The thing to be careful with uh, with the white, and I'm using not a Prismacolor white, I'm using a Luminous white. It's an awesome white, but it picks up the pigment or whatever color of the color that you're actually kind of go overing, going over. <laughs> I am uh, adding just a little bit of a highlight on the berries. I added a little bit of a highlight on the hat, and then I went in on the white part of the hat, and I could see that it was red. So I just wiped that off on my hands because I didn't really have a scratch paper. But just keep that in mind when you're using the white, um, and you want to actually use white if you've gone over any color. Prior to that, you'll want to like scribble it off on some paper so you don't kind of cross contaminate. But I was really happy with the way this turned out. It's very simple. It's very fun to uh, color on these wood slice ornaments. You can use any of your stamps. They look super cute. Here is the holiday Anya that I mentioned that I colored later on when my, when my camera died. But man, I think she looks adorable. And she was a lot of fun to color too. And I just kept her simple with a white halo around her. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video for day 11 of the creative Christmas series. We are almost done. If you have any questions about this technique, please leave them in the description box below. I know it kind of went by fast, but I will be back again either tomorrow or maybe on Christmas day. I'm not exactly sure with our final video. I'm super excited about that one. It's something that my whole family has done together. And um, until then, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I am stay inspired, be creative and share that with others. Bye.